hello and welcome to my channel today we are going to be making sugar flour carnations and this is the set of cutters we are going to be using it comes in a set of three okay that is my sugar glue and we are going to be using this tool for the i do not even know the name but it's a mod part of the modeling tools okay this is a gauge 18 wire and these are the cutters that we'll be needing okay the nose hook plier and all that we are going to be using all that a balling tool and some white gum paste okay and uh, i also have um my foam pad on the table some cornstarch all right so let's get started so the first thing we are going to do now is to cut our wire remember i said we are using gauge number 18 because it's sturdy okay it's a heavy wire it's thick and the flower that we are going to be making the carnation flower is going to be a bit heavy so you need something that can carry its weight so create a hook you see i cut it like a third of the wire and then I created a hook. Next, I'm going to be taking about 10 grams of my gum paste and I'm going to be creating a tear drop. All right. So if this is your first time on my channel, on this channel, we are all about sugar flowers, wafer paper flowers and all things cake decoration. I just love caking. Then you should look below and click on the subscription button button and also do not forget to click on the notification bell so that you know when we post awesome videos like this also remember to give us a thumbs up drop a comment and share this video with your friends so you have seen exactly what i did i created a teardrop and then with my hand i created what it's called uh, a mexican heart okay but my mexican heart has a very is really long at the top <laughs> All right, so I'm using my balling tool to pull it out, to pull out the edges of the heart some more so that I will have some space to cut out my, uh, use, the, uh, use the carnation cutter to cut out, cut it out, okay? So I'm using the one in the center to cut it out. Okay, so we are using this cutter to cut out on the bottom because this is the base of our flower so we are using this cutter to make this cut here so that it will be the same with the other petals okay someone will not be able to differentiate where the flower is starting from because it looks the same way from the bottom all right so i'm just making it slimmer cutting out the edges and then i'm going to be using this modeling tool on this table if you know it the name of this flower uh, modeling tool please let me know in the comment section i don't seem to remember their names <laughs> all right so i'm using it now to frill out the edges of the base of my flower having done that i'm going to be putting my wire in it is setting my wire into the center and then we are going to be keeping it aside and working on the other petals do you love to make sugar flowers? I love making sugar flowers. I love to do all things flowers. I don't know. I'm always in my happy place when I'm working with flowers. And that is the reason why I also make sugar flowers for other bakers. If you live in Nigeria and you love me to make sugar flowers for your next birthday cake project or your wedding cake project, I am right here. Just send me a picture of what you want and then I'll make your flowers for you. I am the baker's best companion. Also, I have an online class, the Sugar Flower Factory. In this factory, I teach you how to make sugar flowers and wafer paper flowers. If you would like to join this online class, then you should check the description box below and then you can join this class. Roll out your paste thinly and from each of your cutter, each of the sizes, cut out three. Three each, okay? Three from the big, big, three from the medium and three from the smallest, okay? So that was exactly what I did. But I ended up using it. I used three of the biggest, two of the medium and three of the smallest. So just let's keep watching exactly what I did.
now it's time to frill the edges of each of our petals okay exactly what we did to the base that we made original it's the same thing we are going to be doing to each of the uh cut cut out okay i'm going to be doing this and placing them on that foam egg tray there just to air dry just a little bit before we use them okay i'm not keeping them there for that long i'm just keeping them for as long as i am done doing everything because you don't want it to be dry to the point that is going to start cracking you know gum paste dries it dries very fast okay so let the air just touch it and just make it a little bit firm so that when you start gluing them on top of each other because that is what we are going to be doing it will not stick now this is one from the smallest you are going to be folding it in half and then folding it into another half again that makes it a quarter okay and then you just um uh, smooth out the bottom okay and not smoothing out just roll out the bottom to and then keep it aside until when we are ready to use all right okay so now it's time to start putting our petals on up on top of each other so with some sugar glue my sugar glue is made up of water and cmc just a little bit of both okay now i'm using the balling tool just to press it in a bit once you do that you see that the petal will be a little bit raised up so that it's not gluing to itself so i'm going to be putting the three large petals first okay as you are doing that try to arrange them in such a way that they are not exactly in the same position okay you don't want it looking like you were trying to arrange your folding your clothes <laughs> all right once you are done with the first three you are going to put two of the medium remember i said i cut nine but i used just two because i found out that i didn't need that many anymore all right then we are going to put in the smallest size which is three okay out of that three two are going to be put has one has been folded into four and then two we are going to put like that okay so make a hole in the center put your glue and that last one we folded that's the one you fix into to that hole use your tool to push it down and then your carnation is ready and you can do this in any color so once you do that you just let it to dry okay allow it to dry for some hours it depends on how fast your gum paste dries out okay so i'm using some most green at the bottom i'm using some leaf green at the bottom bottom <laughs> that is at the least at the edge okay and then i'm using some uh, is it dusky dusky pink okay just to put it all over the place and then i used hot pink just to highlight some of the petals again just to make it look like it was two shades of pink and that is that are you going to be trying this i had so much fun doing this flower and i absolutely love it you can do this as many as you want and put them at the side or the corner of any kind of cake that you would like to use are you going to be trying this <music> 